out here on the Star of the West property. And uh, what we found here is a very dust covered shear zone. And we're on the old Star of the West Crown Grant where it comes across the logging road here. Back down there is Corrigan Creek and there's supposed to be an adit somewhere along there where a creek crosses the road here. There's tons of creeks so we're gonna have to do some searching but for now we stopped at this area because I thought the rock looked interesting and sure enough we have a shear zone here. You can see the oxidation on the rocks. You have a biotite granodiorite over here. You have similar over here. It's very cooked and warped rock. And in the center you have a mix right here. You can see how brittle it is. But all throughout here you have quartz veining. Really dirty looking quartz. There's some uh, greenish mineralization or greenish mineral inside the quartz and there's very minor amounts of sulfides which is pretty typical for what they took out of the old mines so from what I gather the mineralization that contained the most gold was disseminated calcopyrite we have a bit of that in here I'm seeing a little bit of magnetite and a little bit of pyrite. Mineralization is under 2% total. So we'll definitely have to get this analyzed and see what's in here. But uh, we'll take a look at a few of the samples now and we'll just show you how little mineralization there is in them. So here's some of the quartz. You can see the, the darker black up there as well as up here. Those are two areas where there's iron sulfides. It looks like magnetite to me. And then you can see the little sparkles that's disseminated iron pyrite. And you have more sulfides right there. This sample here has little hunks of coarse pyrite and disseminated calcopyrite in very minor amounts. So this is the last sample. And we'll definitely be sending these off for analysis in the future.